Got a chance to get back to Lake Pardee between the storms, uh, fishing with Gary Edminster and Mike Cook and they were in their boats, and I went with uh, Gary Day, who I've never fished with before, but we had a great time on the lake and got some nice fish out of it. As you can imagine, there was some debris in the river arm, but we kind of negotiated around that. You can see these yellow spots on the map up there, and that was pretty accurate to where the fish were. Foothill lakes are just beautiful this time of year. Here we are, Lake Party. There's a waterfall. I'm trying to make this all happen today. How about that, huh? Very nice. Got Gary Day, the expert on this lake. Gary is the guy who always catches fish, always has a limit, he said. Always. So today's going to be no exception. Waterfalls everywhere, the hawks are out, the osprey are catching fish right in front of you, and the eagles are flying. It's beautiful. Lake is way full, but it's also way cold, so the fish are up high. Have a little operator error with the cameras as this trip, so we didn't get pictures of all the fish being landed, but we got some nice shots. There you go. There's a fish. Oh, he's a <laughs> there's Here's Gary dollar. Cry. You want to see Gary Cry? Look at that. Ooh, that's special. Oh. That's going up on the wall. Fish! I got a fish! I finally caught a fish! Jayfair line. Needlefish, white needlefish. Oh boy. Yeah, there's a lot of fish holding in here. 1.6. You said yours was three, mine's probably like three and a quarter. Well, mine was three pounds because it was full of shad. <laughs> you know what I was full of? I got a, I got a picture of uh, Gary with a with a tear in his eye having to give up that dollar. <laughs> Since the water temperatures are cold, fish are at the surface. So I'm using the J Fair line to keep that uh, bait presentation up high where the fish are active. It's a trophy trout. How deep were you? That was that. Uh, well, that was that J Fair. You, you don't have a clue, do you? Yeah. What do you think it is, though? Uh, I would think not more than. Uh, with that little thing on there, one color, five feet is a color. Yeah. Right? On top. And side. with a floating line. Pretty much on the surface. Yeah. yeah. So that's the lead core there. Yeah. And see, it's like a silicone. It's not even heavy lead core. Yeah. And it's like, no, this is lead core. And that's the floating. Oh, that's the floating. One. Yeah. And then they just got a, just a little blob of silicone on it. Looks like what, This is what? That's a lead core. Oh, wow. That's, that's really not a big lead core. Not a heavy lead no, core either. Not. No. Not at all. Huh. So all you're doing is enough just to get it below the surface so it doesn't float when you're going slow. Okay. Which yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, I mean, the, so the the floating line, I mean, you can keep whatever you want on the floating line as far yeah. as the distance out go. I'll send you a picture of their little, That's a their, good idea. Their little, uh, you know, you could, you could fish, there's times when you could fish four downriggers down and you could fish four lines on top floating. <laughs> yes. And you could do it like with, with these side boards. That's one of the advantages of them, because you could you can fish you can have a hundred feet out. Oh yeah. They're amazingly aggressive for as cold as this water is. It's that last and strain, right? <laughs> the third jump it made. Oh, there he is. Nice one. Nice, Gary. Oh, man. Oh, we got a good line. These fish are beautiful, fat, and uh, firm meat. I had uh, one for dinner the night we got home, and it was fantastic. Single hooks, you know, they you worry about it just being a single hook, but they really want to 
grab. There you go. Another nice little fish. It's got a little uh, bit of tail to it. Very pretty. Gonna be a good eater too. Yeah. Bill, Gary, what else is going to work today? Slow. How far down did you get? 13 feet. And he was spitting shad all over the place. Oh, very cool. So, yeah, we're down by that little waterfall at the back of the lake here. Uh, and uh, there's not as much debris here, but we haven't, we haven't had any had a snip. Yeah, I tried slowing down. You're going to be retired, yeah. You're already retired. Gary wanted a shot at the J Fair line. Sure enough, he caught a fish. Yeah, it's good response on the pole. I mean, the whole thing is a nice setup. Very nice. Whoa. See if you can bring them around on the port side there. Oh, not ready yet. Oh, spit it right there. A little bit of an LDR on that one. Oh. Huh. Can't be my lure doing this. But it don't kill the fish. Definitely foul. Oh, oh, oh. oh. out of the water. Diving here. He's running. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Out of the way I like it. Yep. That's the way I like it. Ah, speedy shiners. Gary picked the area. Gary's very familiar with the lake. He decided uh, we should finish up the day on the south arm and I can see why he likes to catch all the fish there. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's a nicer one. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice I fish. Oh, that's a nice big one. Yeah, that is a nice fish. That's a cow. That is a good fish. Nice, Gary. Excellent. There you go. Yeah. Not that beauty. Beauty. Wonderful trip. Nice configuration. Big fish. That's the biggest of the day. Yeah, beautiful, huh? Yeah, excellent. Great. Very thanks. good. Fantastic day was had by all, and thanks again to Gary Edmonster for fishing the day before and finding these fish so that we could be productive today. Just beautiful out there. Once this water warms up, it's going to be on fire. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me if you would, uh, please, and I'll keep doing these things.